that was that was failure i i don't know what happened so it's like again just almost close to negative 20 here and the moon's out here so since it was so cold i figured i would uh in the parking lot start my car get all nice and warm put my scope out right outside the door of my car so i could be warm aim at the moon and what i did let me step back for a sec with with facebook market no oh, facebook with facebook live videos every time i try to hook up my my phone to the eyepiece um the moon's always way overexposed and with live video i i don't have access to um the phone settings so I can set my ISO to like 50 or 100 exposure time so the moon doesn't look a either washed right out or b not in focus so I thought I'd use a, a moon filter which I'm gonna just an Orion moon filter I'm gonna take that off and then what that would do is it would make the moon not so bright uh, kick it down some I wasn't even able to get that far yet because what happened was knowing that it's close to negative 20 out I would attach some hand warmers it's my little filter kit to my little device and it's still warm so I, I gorilla taped hand warmers to the back of my own smartphone adapter in hopes of the heat penetrating through and keeping my phone warm not at all um i was out there maybe for like two three minutes after setting everything up did one quick video which i'll show a little bit of and then right when i went to go to facebook live it just <laughs> shut down and it took like 10 minutes for it to turn back on after i went inside the house plugged it in the charger which is it's almost fully charged Smartphones just do not like super cold temperatures. That, that kind of sucks living in New England. What I'm curious, the guys who are using on DSLRs, do you run into the same same issue where it just shuts down like, I'm not working anymore. Kind of like those guys back in the 1700s who built all those stone walls. Dad, I don't want to build any more stone walls. Or their ox who they're like tugging those giant with stones around and ox just like no shove off i don't want you get the point so my phone you know just cut right out on me even with the hand warm warmers taped to the back i even got them on my toes because it's so cold out there oh, I got, oh <laughs> they're so cool my wife hates them i'm like these things are cool they're orion blue nike airs I'm like, how, how can you not like that so uh this is a failure with the, the hand warmers. Of course, I like to adapt and modify stuff. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna drill some holes around the suction cups to let the heat penetrate through the back of my phone. Good idea. I mean, can't help. I'm at a hotel and not at my house right now, so I can't do that, but next level of trying to figure out how to keep, because these hand warmers right now, they're warm. This is very warm but it's not penetrating through, you know, this into my phone. I didn't even get a picture of the moon. I did a quick video for a test. Not even with the moon filter either. After I dialed in the moon, got into focus, I took this off, screwed my moon filter on, put it back in and then it shut down. So that's enough for right now. One more day of vacation, then got like a four hour ride home. Uh, yeah. All right. That's my story and I'm sticking to it.